Hey guys, it's Meg with Dapper Chic Boutique BTQ. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Uh, this is part two of my December haul. As y'all know, I only go to the thrift store once a month-ish. Um, I drive two and a half hours to get there. I spend the entire day going to multiple thrift stores. And then I drive two and a half hours home and put my kids to bed. So today is the day after the thrift haul. No Makeup Megan has made her appearance. And we make our haul video and get everything uploaded into the computer system for inventory purposes. I am going to uh, continue my haul. This is all solely from one store. I bought 39 pairs of pants yesterday. Uh, that was because they were 75% off. So I grabbed as many as I could find. Um, and then I grabbed 63 other items at 50% off. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with a bang here. This is pants. We're going to start with pants. And we're going to start with the least favorite pair of pants brand that I bought, which was Lucy. These don't sell well for me, but they were so cute and so cheap. But I just won't give up on her. I won't give up on you, Lucy. Size small. Um, these are a crop, but they're a little bit um, interesting. I may try to do a Target follow once I get these and the uh, pair of Lucy pants from my last haul. I got a sweatshirt too. Um, I may try to do a Target follow for a few days on people who like Lucy or have Lucy in their closet. Um, if you don't know what Target following is, I have a YouTube video that you can also watch on what that means to me. All right, next pair, Current Elliot. Great brand, great retail value. Resale is so-so. It depends on the current trends and the size that you get. These are a 27, so like a 4-ish. And they are floral. I thought these would be really pretty for the spring. Then I snagged my favorite, Athleta. These are a size small. They've got a cool detail. I just grabbed two plain, player, plain pairs last time I went. And I'm having trouble keeping them separate. Like I can't figure out. One's a Chaturanga. One's a, a Resurrection. And I'm terrified for when they sell. That I'm going to put the wrong one in the wrong package. So these have a crochet or a cross detail at the bottom. So I was okay with getting those. The next pair of pants I got. Columbia. I actually bought quite a bit of Columbia yesterday I'm finding. Um, because it has made itself a name in the 11 o'clock my time parties. I don't really hesitate to get it if it's something unique. In Columbia pants I've had okay luck with. I've sold a couple pairs uh, for the, in the 20 to 25 range. So these are a size 10. Jeans. So many jeans. Um, I have all of these in one bag and I was huffing and puffing. This, this thing must weigh, this bag, it's an Ikea bag, it must weigh like a thousand pounds at least 100. It's so heavy. Um, these are men's jeans. So I've actually sold a couple pairs of this particular jean, Levi's. Um, just a pretty, they're 527s, which I think is a slim straight. I'll do more research, but these are 3330. Pretty average size for like a medium guy. These are loft jeans. Yesterday, um, to put this in perspective or just to throw it out there, um, my goal was 200 items, so I wanted to focus on bread and butter items to grow my inventory, not necessarily have huge wins. I still got some huge wins, but I grabbed things that I probably normally wouldn't um, because of the price and because I need to, I'm trying to get to a thousand listings by the end of the year. Um, these are size zero, but they are skinny and on trend. I do not, I do not compromise for style. I don't grab stuff because it's cheap. I grab it if it's cheap and trendy because I don't want shit to sit. Shit to sit. <laughs> um, okay, these are J. Crew Reed jeans. Had really good luck with J. Crew jeans, especially dark wash. These are a 25 short, also skinny. These are J. Crew size six. Oh, I think these are minis. They could be tabs. Oh boy, I don't remember. Let's see here. 
doesn't tell me. They are from the fall of 2017 though, so they are pretty current. I like that blue, it's pretty. Um, where do we go from here? Oh my goodness. Okay, we've got J. Crew Cafe Capris, size zero. Maybe polka dots, skinny. We've got Loft, size eight, black, skinny ankles. I don't have good luck with this brand, but I have never picked up a skinny style of theirs. Uh, so I am excited to see how this goes and tell me what your experience is. This is the, ah, uh, it's not skinny, it's medium, uh, mid-rise, straight leg, Elson jean by Citizens of Humanity. So uh, it is cute. I'll probably try to find a stock photo of those. They are black, so... Maybe that's a, a thing. Let's see, these are <clears throat> Joy, size small. These are some pomp pants. What you doing in there, girl? With the python or snake print on trend right now. These are also current Elliot. These are size 27 as well. The cool pattern. Current Elliot is known for cool patterns, and they do not disappoint. Their patterns are amazing. Uh, these are, I'm going to check these over again. I don't like to pick up white jeans from the thrift. I think I always find a stain on them. But these are uh, DL1961s. They are the... Oh, of course. The Amanda Skinny Jean in a size 29. So it's like a size eight, pretty average size. I got a pair of cords here from Eileen Fisher. She is, these are a size medium. So I don't really know, I'll have to do some research on Eileen's sizing, but these are kind of a straight leg, They're thin, which I liked. They're pretty flexible. They're not too stiff like some cords are. These are, I didn't do any research on these, I just bought them. Uh, Henry and Belle, if you know, send me a comment below. Tell me what your experience is, what it retails for, um, and if I should or should not have picked this up. But these are black skinnies, size 26. They have them listed as designers, so maybe there's something good. Uh, these are also Eileen Fisher. I probably would not have picked these up if they were not 75% off, size too petite. But they are kind of cute, though. They're like a linen, black linen cargo crop. Something unique. Somebody will like them. Paige, this is the new tag. I do not pick up the old tag. Don't pick up the old tag. I had a pair that sat for two years and sold for $10. Uh, size 24, so that's like a double zero. That's like itty bitty baby size. Um, but polka dot skinnies. Diane Von Furstenberg. These are a size 10. Great size for her. Because um, it's more of a mature brand, which tends to be people more in the 8 to 12 range. And bigger, but these are like a silk green jogger. They are so cool. I really hope I can find a stock photo. I don't think I can model them and get, get buttoned. Um, but I'll try. Why not? Live a little, Meg. These are, tell me if I say this wrong, please comment on how to pronounce this. Leaf's daughter. <laughs> uh, these are some light colored, kind of more structured pants denim-ish kind of pants. Um, this brand is sold at Anthro. These are more current Elliot's. Oh my. Yes. Uh, these are 29, so like a size 8. They've got this super cool pattern to them. They're skinny, which of course. Um, tell me what you know about this one. Uh, this is T.I. by Cokie Johnson. Never heard of it. Um, it's the Joy Legging. 
reason I grabbed them is because it's two of my favorite things. Army green and leopard. Uh, these are a size 30. That was my size. Kind of. Sometimes. I wish. Picked up another pair of page. These are uh, Vertigo Ultra Skinnies. They are a size. Oh, girl, you better have your size on here. Mama's gonna scream if she ain't got the size. I'm really gonna scream. They're 26. That's what it says. But where does it say that? Okay, I'll figure her out later. Um, I don't think they're actually a 26. It looks more like a 24, but they are ultra skinny dark wash. Super fly khaki cargo pants for my husband. He wears these for his roof job. That was a joke. I mean, he does wear them, but those were, I didn't thrift those for selling. Uh, Banana Republic, size 28 petite, black skinny jeans. Distressed with the holes in the knees. Ann Taylor. Size six, blue, navy blue, ankle pant. Uh, banana, I actually got these for a quarter, so I don't pick these up ever, but if they're a quarter, can't lose. Navy chinos, um, city chinos, size zero. J. Crew match stick, 26 tall. First time I'm finding tall J. Crew. Um, but these are kind of a cream colored winter white uh, cord. What are these fancy things? Banana Republic Sloan, size zero petite slacks. Again, I don't normally pick up uh, these smaller sizes, especially as many of them, but. I kind of had a game plan of trying to list all of these at the same time because I know that a lot of people with J. Crew and Banana Republic and Loft loyalties know their size, know what they need, and are just looking for different patterns, like in the fit that they like or fits that they like. So if I can get a group of these listed, maybe I can get a bundle sale out of them. Uh, this is Talbot's size four ankle pants. These are the Hampshire Curvy Fit. They're actually quite nice pants. They are really nice. They're retail over a hundred. This is another pair of those uh, J. Crew. Did they have two of those from the other stores? Maybe I already grabbed them. Another pair of the J. Crew pomp pants. Eight short on this size. Um, they're just stretchy, cute. They look like leggings, but feel like pants, so you get a little bit more structure. Sold a few of those before. These were J. Crew size two. What style are you? Don't know, but I really like this cognac color, and these are a crop or ankle pant. This one, y'all are gonna have to help me out here. <laughs> So these are Dolce & Gabbana. I have never picked up this brand. I was a little like, these are kind of boring, until I saw this cool detail and their flare with buttons. So if y'all find stocks and can DM me any information you can find about this pair of pants on the Instagram, I would be most appreciative. I'm super excited about these. I think they are so fun and so cool, even though they're a little bit um, plain, they're still Dolce. That's my first time finding that brand. These are Maximara. I do love this, this brand, so I grabbed it. Um, I don't know what retail value is on these. It's not cheap. I sold an old, old Maximara sweater and it had wear on it. It was kind of shrunk a little bit. It was a cashmere sweater. It retailed for well over $500 and I sold it for 40 in just fine condition, not great. So, but these are just 
black slacks. I grabbed those because of the brand. They do have a high waist, which is good. Andrew Mark. Um, so there's Andrew Mark, Andrew Mark, New York. There's a bunch of them. Um, and I think Andrew Mark is an okay one. Andrew Mark, New York, maybe is his baby brand. I don't remember, but I went ahead and grabbed these. They weren't too expensive. So I thought, well, I'll grab now, do research later. Um, they're a size four and they are a skinny pant, skinny slack. They are very well made. They're super soft. These are Lucy. How much Lucy did I pick up yesterday? I'm so disappointed in myself. Uh, this is a fold over skirt thing combo. And you think this is weird? Um, but I see a lot of people wearing these and I've sold a couple of these before. I personally would not wear them, but that's just because I got a big old mama, but, um, AG cigarette leg, the stilt. I have a love hate relationship with AG. I want to break up with him. Like I did Vince sweaters and shirts. And I have for the most part, I don't pick up AG jeans often, if at all, but these spoke to me because they are black skinny cords in corduroys in the season. I broke up with Vince. My next piece is Vince. <laughs> uh, size small. These are some super cute light gray joggers. And last but not least, another brand I don't really like to pick up, especially in jeans. I still have some sitting from years ago that I can't get rid of. I've relisted like a thousand times. J brand. Um, but these are kind of unique. They're a size 26. They're like a skinny cargo. So they're unique in their own sense. And I think they will kind of have a standalone presence there and sell well. All right, next bag. Everything else that I got from this thrift was non-pants related. So I did all of the pants first when I checked out. So I could get 75% off and then used my 50% off card to get the rest. So we will go through everything here. Um, this is a stretch for me. I don't pick this brand up. Um, can someone comment, is this a new tag or vintage tag? I don't know a lot about it, but here's what I liked about it. It's like a long blue cardigan. It's so cute. Oh, it's Pendleton, in case you were just listening to me. Hi, Bri. Uh, let's see, this is Soft Surroundings. This is a bread and butter brand retails really well, um, anywhere from hundred ish dollars for sweaters. And I really like this one. I'll probably try to get listed fairly quickly. Love that button detail. And I love the silver in there. I think that this would be a really fun holiday sweater. So I'll get that one listed quickly. This is a Lulu bra paid up for this a little, not too bad, but this is another Tata Tamer. I actually haven't sold any of my Tata Tamers yet, which I am kind of disappointed in myself in. I've listed them twice now. Uh, this is a 34D. The others were 36Cs. What's this? Remember, we're doing this together. Um, okay, this is Chaser. I do remember. This is an extra small Chaser burnout top. This is a bread and butter brand for me. I didn't pay much for it. And look at that back detail. Chaser's really good about having stock photos so you can have those modeled images. Um, I don't know about this brand, but it looked and felt well made. So if you know it, please comment below. Envy and Phrase Paris. Okay. So 6 8. Look how darling this is. It's got the oatmeal kind of color with the speckles there and then that little cute ruffle detail. It's like a thermal material. Skies are blue, bread and butter, purple top. I pretty much grabbed anything that was marked at $6 or less. Oh, I love this so much. This is another Columbia piece. This is a Sherpa vest. How darling this is. Like, I would wear this. I think it is so stinking cute. It's a small. Good thing it won't fit me. We've got my favorite, Club Monaco. Ooh, size small. Look 
how cute this is. So it's a blue button down. Oh, and then you see the back and it's like this cute chambray ruffle down the back. Um, if I didn't mention it before, if y'all have anything in here that you see that you want, obviously my Instagram friends or my YouTube watchers get first dibs on everything. Um, just make, send me a DM on Instagram, Dapper Chic Boutique BTQ. Uh, this was another, I wouldn't grab this if it was any more than $3, but it's a Nike Pro size medium hoodie. And I only picked it up. They had a few of these in plain colors, but I only picked this one up because it's so unique. I actually quite love this. I think it is so fly. This I picked up because of the trend, not because of the brand. I don't typically pick up Calvin Klein because I found it at Sam's Club before. And I feel like once something gets to Sam's Club, it's no longer trending. Sad because I love shopping. Uh, but this is a leopard puffer hooded vest and it's really cute. So this is Banana Republic, size small, a little fold over blouse there. I don't know this brand, but if it's got those weird numbers on it, um, if it sizes like James Purse and Ted Baker, I'm like, mm, could it be expensive? Maybe. So if you guys have heard of this, uh, Gerard Durrell, is that right? right here folks hit me up in comments let me know if you know that brand and where it's sold and how much it retails for all that jazz um, this is super cool so this is just really plain but this is like a yoga wrap top and I think it is so cute this is an athlete and medium tall and it's like a blush pink color it's so fun <laughs> Okay, I grabbed this for myself because it's Old Navy. Um, Y'all know I'm clothed in Old Navy craziness, uh, but this sweater is so thick. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try this one on too. Yes, yes queen, yes, good choice. Good decisions were made by this. Okay, that's all that bag okay my next bag so I found that I have more bags and it looks like I just bought so much stuff but in sweater season things are so bulky that one piece takes up the same amount of space as something three things I buy in the summertime for summer poshing so it looks like I got a lot more than I did no, I did get a lot um, oh, I found this on the plus size rack and I was so excited. So I was like, Ooh, that's cute. I need to check that out. And then it ended up being my favorite brand. This is their new tag. So this is a size medium. It's a like black and gray duster and it's very, 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 very soft. I'm in love with it. I don't pick up this brand much either. Um, this is late. This is from Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, all those places, but it's got shoulder pads and check this baby out. It's like a green velvet coat. This is one that I'll get listed immediately so people can wear this with their Christmas dress on Christmas Eve. All right, now I'm on. Sorry, friends. Shit. <laughs> um, okay, so the next piece I picked up, um, at this store, they were overwhelming me with Eileen Fisher, Joy, and Rungly, is that right? Um, but they're all overpriced. So I look at every tag, and once in a while, you'll find a gem that's not marked up to $30 to $40, and someone will have marked it at $20 or $15. So this was one of those pieces. This is Joy. It's a size medium, and it's a crochet top sweater something. This is a frame, size medium, basic black t-shirt. Since it's frame, I'll sell it. I'm trying to get in here without actually ripping anything. This is Banana Republic, size medium, basic blue sweater, v-neck, it's 
real fun. Have I told you guys I don't wear stripes anymore? I don't wear horizontal stripes. I have found that I love them, but I don't allow myself to wear them. And I am so much happier of a human being when I don't wear stripes. I don't know why. Uh, this is Alice and Joy. This is that brand that we find at Ever Eve. Really fun, stretchy. Like, look how stretchy this is. Uh, cow neck sweater. This is James Purse, size two, basic black button up, which is exactly what James Purse people want, is their basic black. This is soft surroundings, another bread and butter piece, extra small, um, oversized shirt. Now this has the V-neck, but then it also has this cool detail, sleeve detail, how it's got like a little cape. I don't pick this brand up. I don't know anything about it, honestly. It's not a good brand, uh, but this piece just spoke to me. It's Henge. I think this is mainly found at Marshalls because it doesn't sell anywhere and they all send it to Marshalls, but it is really, really cute. Um, green and black with the crochet back detail and it's like a cute tunic. Maybe it's a dress. I don't know. This is soft surroundings, size medium. Um, it's a mohair and wool blend sweater. The back detail is fantastic on this. It's a little bit longer. Sparrow, size large sweater. Isn't that fun? That's Anthro, FYI. Uh, another James Purse. They had one more of these in white, but it had some pit stains, so I left it behind. I believe that's a size two as well. Yes. Mm. Ooh, what are you? You're so soft. Ann Taylor, that's her newer tag, uh, size medium. It's a cute blush pink off-shoulder sweater. This is one that I'm not sure about, uh, but I saw this last time I was there and I really liked it and I didn't know anything about it and then I forgot to do comp research, but then I saw it yesterday and I just went for it because I think it's really cute. Uh, this is... Lisa Todd. You see that? Yeah. But it's got this crew neck, stripes, and then this cute little button detail. Uh, comment below if you know what Lisa Todd is or where it's sold or how much it retails for, as always. Uh, this is a fun J. Crew cardigan. It's a medium. Look at that. I think they call these the Jackie. Pretty sure that's what this one is. It's Fluorescent pink and fabulous. I only got this one Madewell thing. Yay me. It's a denim button up. Um, I haven't seen anything like that before, but I like it. So that's a medium. Denim button down. Is that men's? No. No, no, no. Let's see what year this is from. Let's see if this is old or new. Don't let me down. Let me down. Damn. This was, oh, I don't remember, Splendid. Bread and butter brand. It does not resell for big money, but if you can get it cheap enough. Freaking deodorant stains. <laughs> um, then it's worth it. Uh, because it is sold at Anthro and is quality and does retail high. That's a size medium. Of course the size tag was taken out of this one. J. Crew. I didn't even notice, but just a basic blue sweater. Does it ever irritate you guys that... People like cut the tags out of their clothes 
when they donate them so that other people can't resell them. Like, <laughs> it drives me crazy because it's like, well, if I don't know what size it is or what brand it is, why would I buy it? Like, just in general, right? You're just hurting the environment because I can't buy it. I don't know. I might be crazy. Okay, Columbia. Another one. I didn't realize I picked up this much. Uh, size medium. This is just a button. Is this a jacket? No, it's a button thing. What are you? Oh, yeah, just a button down shirt. It's like a nylon y material. So um, there are 40 like fishermen, sportsmen. <laughs> going to be quiet now and keep going. Eliza J, size large. I don't normally pick this brand up. This dress is basically brand new, so I actually am considering wearing this. That cute Old Navy vest, Old Navy sweater that I picked up for Christmas because... And if it's just stripes along the bust, I don't mind my bust looking bigger. It's everything else that comes along with the stripes that I don't like. So... Go in here, quit talking your ear off. This is North Face, size small. This is a half zip here, it's orange. Alice and Joy from Ever Eve. Look at this, isn't this so pretty? I love that. So pretty. I love that brand. J. Crew, extra small, turtleneck sweater. These are plain, but they do sell for 20 to 25 sometimes. Or I wouldn't pick them up. Uh, this is another Athleta hoodie, size small. This one needed a little bit of work. It's got a few pills that I didn't really like, care for, but easy fix. Another Athleta. This is an extra small. Honestly, I probably shouldn't have gotten this because these don't sell well for me, but I like it. This is Ann Taylor. I'm on the fence about this. I kind of like the detail and I kind of don't, but the Front's got this pattern. Uh, it's kind of one of those like ruffly kind of things, and the back's plain. Then we've got Aerie and Alley. This is Anthro. I have one of these in white currently. It hasn't sold yet, but it does get a lot of attention. Um, it's very similar to this, but this has got the bat wing sleeve. This is Lululemon. If you guys know what style this is, I would be most appreciative. If it's got the new Lulu tag. Um, this guy here, just a little hang tag there. Wait, let me get you one with a smile so this can be my cover photo. You see it there? Okay, cool, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> Such a goober. Um, anyway, so this is like a sheer v-neck top. So if you know what they call that, that'd be super helpful for me. And then I actually sold this exact sweater that's got one snag in it, which I think I can just trim off right quick or use my snag nabbit and get rid of that. Um, this is the Yogi Crew. And I sold this within five minutes of listing it the last time I had it and for like 50 bucks. So... They're super soft and super comfortable sweaters and popular. Last thing in this bag, and then I gotta go up and get the last one. Um, I snagged, what are you? This thing, what is it? I forgot. I seriously forgot what this is. There it is. Okay. I knew I was like, I didn't buy something that didn't have a tag. Uh, this is soft surroundings size. Missy S. Missy small. Whatever that means. But it's got a cold shoulder detail. Um, and then the rouge turtleneck top. So I really liked that. All right, guys. One last bag, I believe. And then we will be done with this thrift haul. As my three-year-old would say, 
my kidding. I have two more bags of stuff for you. Uh, I've got one more bag of clothes and shoes. So we'll get right into it. This is Yumi Kim, size medium. That's a good brand, right? Right? Also need to do research on Rungoli. They had all of their tops marked at $30 plus, except for this one. And it is um, so if you guys have any experience with Rungoli or know anything about it, please message me. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you know. This is Joy, size medium blouse. Probably, honestly, these blouses don't bring a whole lot to the table. So I probably overpaid for it more than I'll get out of it, but I do like having Joy exposure in my closet. A snowsuit for my 18 month for my 10 month old son. Another Ann Taylor, size small. Love that. Love that pattern. This is, oh, I remember loving this. Oh, no, I don't. Um, this is Entro. I believe it's Nordstrom, maybe Nordstrom Rack, but it is the Snow Leopard. So I grabbed it. Price was great. Price was fine. Athleta, medium, basic white tee. Uh, rag and bone jeans. So these they had marked in kids, so they wouldn't give me 75% off, even though they're not kids. They're size 25, so they will probably fit a child, but. They wouldn't give me 75% off since it was just men and women's and they had it marked as kids. So anyway, but the rag and bone, like a dark deep blue legging jean. J. Crew extra small sassy puffer. And last but not least of clothes is Patagonia. Women's medium cinchilla fleece. Love it. I love it. That's probably a really good find. Forgot I got that. Cool. Shoes. Okay. So I counted before these that I'm about to show you, I had 20 pairs of shoes. Shoes was the thing I needed the least amount of yesterday, and it looks like I might have bought the most of them. There was just too many good deals. So we'll start here. These are Caslon. They're from Nordstrom and they're not anything like, oh my gosh, Caslon, that's such a good brand, but they were so cheap. And they're a size 12 in women's, which is kind of a rare size, and they're sneakers. I thought they're so cool. I've got a couple pairs of size 12s. Um, what's your experience with Katy Perry? Because I love these with the little block kitten heel and the glitter like I think these are fantastic they are a size nine yeah they're a size nine which is a great size they have the zipper back which I always appreciate instead of the stupid buckles um, but if you've sold those let me know how much they're going for ish that'd be helpful um, again another brand I don't pick up I picked it up for the style not for the brand and Klein the iFlex These are size, what size are you? Seriously? Oh well. Zara baby booties for wit. Check those out. So flat. <laughs> Tory Birch. Small kitten heel type deal. Um, I can't remember the name of these, but they're pretty easy. Nine and a halfs. Saving these for last. Not showing you those. Um, let's see here. I grabbed these for myself. Gap. Mules. I needed some. A little heel on them. So cute. J. Crew. 
basic flat. Those will probably sit and hang out until summer or spring. Um, but they're a size 7. Y'all are going to think I'm crazy, but these are Tevas. This style shoe is still popular. Chacos. Teva. I'm hoping to get some good money out of these. And I've got three favorite shoes, and then I'm going to be done for the day. Um, in order of my three favorites, another pair of Jimmy Choo's. Sorry, you saw the price. I'm not supposed to show you those. I don't want to show you those. Um, these are a six and a half and in really good condition. So, obviously you just saw the price, so you know I paid up for them. I don't mind because I just sold my last pair of Jimmy Choo's for $120. Second favorite, have you heard of this brand? Because I looked up Comps. Aquazura. Comps are amazing. Um, these are a size 6 and they are hopefully going to pay for at least the shoes when I sell these. I may put, I'm obviously going to cross post everything, but these may be one that gets more traction on eBay since I offer global shipping. And last but not least, yes, 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 yes. I found them. Now, quick story time. I had another pair of Grella sandals that sold on Tradesy. Person said they weren't authentic. I couldn't prove that they were, even though they came from this bougie thrift. So I made a vow to not buy Manolos anymore because I knew they were real, and even Tradesy's people said no, they weren't. Well, that's some BS, Tradesy peeps. But these came with the box and with the Neiman tag. So I have no qualms about selling these or if they're authentic or not. I didn't anyway, but that really threw me off. I like quit Tradesy for months because I was so mad about the situation. Um, but here they are. They're just cute little kitten heels with the laser cut. Aren't they so exciting? Okay, and that is all. Uh, they're a size 38, so if y'all are in the market, I'm not going to put my Cinderella foot in here because I will put those Cinderella feet because we in my closet. So, um, as always, questions about brands, um, let me know in the comments. Comments about the brands that I have questions about, if you are familiar, please let me know in comments. Also, if you like this video, I surely, surely, surely appreciate you giving me a thumbs up to help support this mama small business dream. And if you need any of this stuff in your closet, hit me up on Instagram at Dapper Chic Boutique, BTQ, um, and let me know what I can help you with. All right, guys, thank you so much again for tuning in. I hope this has been fun and enjoyable and thanks for listening to me crack myself up for an hour. Have a good day and see you again soon.